Hey y'all, I'm Luke Red, Mandy. Okay, so somebody's feeling real bad right now. Uh, somebody is sorry for something they did with the Page of Cups. Possibly that could be what this is. Or somebody could be acting childish, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody could have been drinking, possibly. We got the Empress and the Two of Swords. Like, somebody can't make up their mind. Maybe somebody's blocking them from going any further in something, okay? So, somebody could be getting blocked from leaving, okay? With the Eight of Cups. Then we got the Emperor here with the Five of Pentacles and the Hermit. Somebody's... Um, okay, so somebody's really thinking things through, going within here, thinking about, uh, <laughs> I'm not fixing to lose like this. Somebody's saying they're not fixing to lose like this, okay? They're not fixing to lose something here. Maybe this Empress, okay? So this strength card, okay? it keeps coming out in reverse like somebody's losing strength or maybe power okay i don't know so with the strength card we got leo energy virgo taurus aries scorpio the page of swords gemini libra aquarius it seems to be like some kind of argumentative energy that keeps coming up and it's basically, it's a lot of weird energies going on right now, okay? That could be causing people to be in confusion here with this Seven of Cups. We got the Queen of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles. Somebody's wanting to break free here. It's like somebody's wanting to break free from something, okay? But they're in regret. In regret somebody's gonna be successful and have a chance at okay fool 2.0 <laughs> somebody wants another chance here somebody wants another chance like or they acting like a dog here and they got put in the panda house in <laughs> the dog house somebody it's like somebody swept out their energy <laughs> i don't know okay but they're being judged here by somebody. They can see what's coming, though. How can they see what's coming? Oh, okay. The lovers here. Gemini energy. With the Knight of Wands. Okay. And the Death card. Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. So... <laughs> They see, like, if I don't get myself together, it's going to be over with. This happy family here is going to be over with. So, this person is feeling guilty about lying and causing heartbreak here with the person that they love, all right? Acting single, possibly. Okay, somebody's mad. Somebody's mad. And it could be you because somebody wants to apologize to you. Yeah, you are in your Queen of Swords energy. Now, if this is for you, if, if this isn't what your situation is, I got a lot of other readings up, you know, but somebody's mad here. Because they're really wise, smart, it's like they know, <laughs> they know a lot. And they threw their hands up like, I'm, I'm just going to hold my energy back to myself and use it to move forward towards my happiness, okay? Leo, um, Taurus with the Hierophant and the Sun. Somebody's like, I'm not going through these. I'm not going through this with you anymore. So somebody's been given an ultimatum, okay? And then we got the Ace of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So somebody's coming in with this Ace of Cups, possibly this Emperor here, okay? Coming in with this Cup of Love, like, and a, <laughs> they're coming in with something else too. They got a couple of love and a wand here. Okay. You might be fighting that. Like, I got a sword for your wand. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's so funny. Okay. It's like, yeah, somebody's holding back. 
So that could be you. You know, definitely with the Four of Pentacles, you decide to protect your energy here. Okay, yeah, you'll bite somebody or... Okay, Justice with the Eight of Wands. Again, something about some messages. So somebody could be messaging, trying to get a hold of you and like... You're not, well, you're not trying to get a hold of them because I feel like you're the flower. This person is the bee trying to get to you. He's trying to get you to remember um, everything y'all have had together, the time y'all have had together, trying to be romantic, okay, and make things right, but I don't know if it's been working. Okay, so this is how somebody's feeling I feel like towards you or, you know, the roles could be reversed. So let's see. Let's get some from a different day. Yeah, we'll get some more tarot because that's only six minutes in. Mm. Oh, I haven't used this one in a while. Heaven and Earth Tarot. Yeah, because angels keep coming up. And I got different ways I get messages and downloads, y'all. And something about an angel keeps coming up. So, I don't know if you're like an earth angel or you just got angels all around you, okay? But somebody could be heartbroken here with that card at the bottom of the deck. But, yeah. Okay, so tell me more. defeat yeah somebody regrets some stuff here they regret um with this two of wands and the four of swords they regret juggling somebody here or being imbalanced like basically juggling yeah yeah and then that defeat card wanted to come back out so yeah they feel defeated they're really thinking about this so we got a Princess of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Wands with the Ace of Cups. Yeah. It's like somebody seems to be choosing themselves here, though. And I think that might be you. Okay, we got the King of Cups here. Temperance with the Sun. That's like Earth Angel energy, okay? Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Leo. Something's about to change. Justice, Libra, energy. There's the, the end to some kind of confusion here. And then it does look like, you know, somebody could be ending up single here. All right. Or... Okay, yeah, or maybe acting single with the moon here. Pisces, Cancer. Someone seems to be wanting to walk away from somebody who's manipulative. The Queen of Cups with the Six of Pentacles. Somebody's really wanting to move away from a situation that they feel like they just want their peace. They just want their peace. Wow, definitely need some peace after the Tower, Aries, Scorpio, and the Devil, Capricorn, with the lover. Somebody's feeling uh, Gemini and the Ten of Wands. Somebody's feeling bad and wanting to start over here. Apologize, maybe get married, okay, but... So we got Taurus, Scorpio. Um, somebody's wanting a new beginning here, but they're they the Five of Pentacles with the Ace of Wands. It's like you're holding back. Okay, you feel stabbed in the back. You you may be thinking about blocking this person, or you may have blocked this person, or vice versa. Okay, King of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So definitely, I don't know. I guess I'll, okay, so let's see. I'll get some from this deck. Do I want to do Kipper? No, let's just, 
let's go here with the Allentine Wellness deck. Okay, lightning. Yeah, that's kind of like that tower moment. Okay, so somebody here is going to rise from this tower moment, rise up out of the ashes from this, you know, tower that's falling, which is like a uh, some there's been a foundation that's been shaking here. Somebody's foundation has been shaking here <clears throat> with the five of pentacles, maybe their home situation. Okay. So it's a lot going on, but I feel like that somebody here does have the strength to get through this. Okay. With the Phoenix and the butterfly. Now it does say relationship evolving to the next phase. Healing the inner child growth, new phase, rekindle, renew transformation, growth, and change mind. Okay. So now this does this is giving like somebody making a comeback with, you know, their situation, their relationship here. Okay, because it says rekindle and relationship evolving. Mirroring each other separation. Karmic relationship and twin flames. Okay. Mm, so this could be uh somebody who's like like a twin flame relationship where somebody or both of y'all keep having karmic situations karmic relationship karmic you know obstacles all that right and so there's a relationship here that's going to be evolving to the next phase and i don't know what relationship it is but it's a relationship here okay so, because there's a lot that's went on with this uh, situation. So, there's going to be a rekindling with somebody here. New phase. And this one says relationship evolving to the next phase. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this could be whatever relationship this is that we start off talking about. Um, okay, I don't know if I'm... Okay, so we got twin flames again at the bottom of the deck. So y'all, <laughs> we did have the seven of uh, the seven of cups representing somebody having a lot of choices here. Okay, so wedding rings and the chaser. So I feel like somebody here may try to. Uh, raise this raise this situation up from the grave right and they i'm not saying they can't do it they can it just you know it takes two people they really have to change here with the coffin um yeah raising something from the dead Ooh and it's like okay i want to go out on a date and you're like not today and it's like they're reminiscing on you trying to seduce you and you're like i need more than that Blowing your kisses, talking. <laughs> hmm. No. I mean, I don't know. Now, I was just pulling a lot from the bottom of the deck. I think we're going to go back to, yeah, healthy choices. So, somebody could be deciding to change their choices, whatever led to needing that, need to apologize to you. I think they're going to try to re revive this relationship up out the grave, okay? Uh, I just saw 333 on the clock, so... As I'm saying that, we got the clock card. So, the time is, the the time is run. And then this card at the bottom of this deck over here, the time is ticking on this relationship, or maybe somebody's just ticking time off. I don't know. Let's see. I guess I'll get some. I'm not gonna do a um song this time. Or if I was to do one, I guess it would be shot clock because we kept seeing it. Uh. So we got Virgo, W, or possibly M. It's looking more W, but M could be. We got, I'm seeing October. We got Aries, grandparent, hair extensions. You will see a frog or a lizard. Long fingernails. Something happened at work. So something could have happened at work. Okay, July. Something could have happened in July. Something could have happened where somebody something happened with a job too. Director. I don't know what to think about that one. 
Lottery winner, okay, August. Piercings, daddy issues. Goatee, long eyelashes. <laughs> okay, let's just get a couple more. A psychic medium, so somebody either, you could be a psychic medium, somebody could be going to see one. The letter U, pull three more tarot. Okay, the month of January. This person is becoming mentally unstable. Oh, wow. Their friend wants you. <laughs> what the, in the world, you will see an owl. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, here's a fortune cookie too. Your contributions to your community can be felt near and far. Soft skin. They want to turn you against somebody. Ponytail, pigtails, buns. Pisces. So somebody at somebody's job could have been trying to turn them against you. It could be a boss, okay? Something about somebody's birthday. Blue car. Influencer. One year. So something could have been going on for a year. Or it could be a year from now. 17. 111. Something happened at a bar or a restaurant. And manipulator, somebody's a manipulator. Okay, wow, I should have left that bag alone. Okay, so we're gonna pull three more tarot and then I'll pull some oracle cards. Okay, three more, please, for just uh, advice. Five of Cups with the Ace of Wands. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Okay, somebody's going to be trying to um, <laughs> revive it. What did I say a minute ago? Yeah, somebody's trying to somebody's trying to shoot that Cupid's arrow from the grave. <laughs> somebody's trying to shoot, shoot that Cupid's arrow from the grave. So this could be your twin flame or, you know, soulmate or something. Or it could be uh, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Double Scorpio. So, or you could be one of those signs, okay? Justice. Libra energy with the Four of Wands and the Four of Cups. I think... If it's meant to be, it'll be. And somebody looks like they're wanting to break free from something here. So somebody's wanting their peace. And I think that, you know, I think you're gonna get it. I think you're gonna get it. All right, so let's get some for from the sacred forest. No, let's get some from the Believe in Your Own Magic Day. <coughs> Y'all drop me an emoji if the energy's been seeming weird. Okay. Wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Yes, Earth Angel. You never needed those wings to fly. You got invisible wings. <laughs> Number eight could be significant. That's also like the infinity. Okay, Clover, release your guilt. Morning, the world awaits you. I do think that somebody is releasing somebody here. This is making me think of someone writing somebody's name and like you know releasing it in some some kind of way. Okay. If y'all do that with any kind of fire, y'all be careful. <laughs> yeah, but somebody is getting a fresh start here, okay. Be honest with yourself. Every hurricane comes to an end. It's time for healing, not war. Wow. Number 30, number master number 44, number 17, 40, 21, and 8. Okay, you guys. So, um, 
yeah, drop me an emoji or something, you guys. Y'all, please hit the like button to get the messages out for people. I appreciate you. And thank y'all for all your kind words. Y'all are so sweet. I love all y'all, and I appreciate you. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye.